knows how you come across somebody once in a while you, you shouldn't have messed with. That's me. Well, I, won't back down. I am not an African American. You're Oreo cookie, white in the inside and black on the outside. I don't have an afro, I have an Amerifro. Talking that idiotic stuff you talk about, I would slap you. Go ahead, make my day. Black at the ace of spades, but 100, 100% American. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. The Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Welcome to the third hour of the show today. Thank you so much for being with me. I want to quickly get to this story about this little uh, baby, a little black boy that was captured on video last week. The Omaha Police Association Labor the video, the thug cycle. We got this from Ross Story slash KT, KMY TV. Here is the Om Omaha Police Association. So caught on camera tonight, you have to see it to believe it. A young child is berated and bullied by the adults he trusts. New at 10, reporter Rebecca Ray spoke with an expert about why this video should be a warning for everyone. Shot me. It's appalling. It's disgusting. It's the only way to describe a video the Omaha Police Officers Association posts to their website. You a ho. You a ho. What's up there? A child wearing only a diaper. Adults antagonizing him, calling him racial slurs, encouraging the boy to fight. Sounds like suck my. That's why you can't fight. You a. The police department says the video is local and the adults are not breaking any laws. Still, some say they're breaking a moral code. After I looked at that, I just it, it worried me tremendously that we could that we could make an effective change in in that kid's life. Mike Rice is the director of the Bryant Center, a safe haven for children in North Omaha. An active community member, Rice sees a lot, although he's never seen anything like this. Pulse for the camera, dude. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. And what we're seeing right now is that we have parents that were, were not brought up to know right and wrong, perhaps. What heard you find? The police department was not available for comment, but they did post on their Facebook page that child services has been notified. Rebecca at KMTV, Action 3 News. You know what's amazing about this? I'm thinking, how did we go from being afraid to even think of a curse word and not to mention to give anyone the finger. We've gone from that to now these parents and parents, there are other parents like this teaching their children, their kids to curse and just be out of control like that. I don't understand. How did we go from that? You have to realize that this is a, this kid came into the earth an empty vessel open to be fulfilled with knowledge and everything else around him. And this is what they are putting into him. What do you expect? If this is what they are dumping into an empty vessel, a child who is just learning the, the ways of the world, that's all he's going to know. And when he goes off to school, poor teachers will have to deal with him. Well, if he make it to the school, Lamont is uh, Mark, Mark Lamont is trying to say that this is uh, uh, bad for the image of black boys. They're trying to make black boys by the police association putting this uh, video up. They're trying to make black boys look like thugs. No one is making or have to try to make some black boys look like thugs. They do it to themselves because this is how they have been raised by their mothers and fathers. They have been raised to be gangsters. They have been raised as thugs. So they go out there and present themselves. You can't blame this on anyone else. Here's uh, the mother of the, the, the uh, baby. The baby thug. She says that uh, 
Her son is smart, doesn't curse, and by the way, the mother is 16 years old, and she's trying to defend her son and brother, son, brother, and friend, friend who made the video. They weren't worried about the video because he had a clean diaper, the house was clean, and like they said, kids cuss, every kid does it, so he's a smart little boy. And all the cussing he did, he doesn't do that. And I let somebody, the person that told him to do that, my son doesn't cuss like that. I don't let, I don't allow it. The 16-year-old mom um, yeah. says a friend of her brother filmed the video while she was in another room. He was wrong for doing it, for posting the video up and got us in this situation. That video was not, it wasn't me, it was a person that came in my house and recorded it. So for everybody that's thinking I'm a bad mother, I'm not. I'm a good mother to my son and I teach him a lot and he's very smart. So, the brother and the friend were wrong for posting the video, but not for teaching the boy to curse like that. And all she's doing is excusing this, this actions of her brother, the action of her brother and friend. Every kid does not curse. Kids don't naturally curse. They, re they repeat back what is given to them. Whatever they hear, they tend to speak up, uh, speak about that. That's why in the good old days, when boys were boys and men were men, the adults were careful and most of the time. The adults were careful not to curse around children because they knew that the kids would pick it up and start doing it too. That is not the case today, not with all parents, of course, but a lot of young parents are like that. They have no thought of their children, what is happening to them. Uh, Child Protection Service after history of gangs, violence, and arrest. On Wednesday, Child Protective Services placed both and her son in protective custody. It's not the first time the state stepped in. In June, the Department of Health and Human Services started monitoring the family in response to a neglect case. Four months later, someone shot up home. We were there. One of the bullets grazed the foot of two-year-old boy. After the October drive-by, the family moved here with her mother. On December 16th, police raided a party at their home searching for a shooting suspect. Our cameras rolled as police took 15 people into custody. Officers ended up arresting mother on weapons-related charges after finding five guns in the house. Wow. Now, after a viral video, the state will relocate the family again. They didn't come because of the video. They really came because of the gang violence and everything that happened with us. When Currently, is not living with her son, but gets to see him. And she hopes what people see online doesn't haunt her family forever. It hurts. It does. So just think about it, folks. You got a 16-year-old girl, and you got these uncles who, are, at least one that I saw, appeared to be a young teenager as well, with a child, child in the mix. And they can't, this woman is so young, they can't even give her name out. And they have gang violence and stuff going on in that apartment there. Can you, and who's taking care of this girl and her baby? And do you think that if this girl was not being taken care of by the government, that she would be in this predicament? I say no more welfare. No more welfare, folks. This is hurting the country. It's hurting families. It is not helping. And the one thing that we all know, if these young girls had to take care of their babies, they would never have children at the age of 14 and 15 years of age. It would be rare. But because they know that the state is going to take care of them, that the government would take care of them, it's just it's happening over and over again. And I remember saying 23 years ago that we needed to do something about this because the uh, uh, these girls are learning from their mothers it's okay to have babies because the government is going to take care of you. 
do it for the check. It's all for the check. But this is commonplace, folks. And especially now with younger, younger parents who don't have the patience to deal with the energy of children. 888-775-3773. Back in a moment. 